Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is CT Bricks and welcome on in to my 501st Legion Clone Troopers review or better known in the community as the 501st Battle Pack. Now, I have some strong opinions about this set. I I really want to talk about it. It's just I don't know. I have just a lot of stuff to talk about. It's just the overall design of the the vehicles and just the general consensus and the idea of what this is supposed to be. I'll be explaining all that in a moment, but I also want to say thank you so much for all the love and support that I've been getting recently on this channel. It means so much to me, you have no idea, and I just want to say thank you. And the growing numbers of subscribers really means a lot to me, so I really appreciate that. So thank you all for that. And this week, I'm going to be doing a lot of reviews, and I apologize if you're not into that. Uh, I just really want to give my two cents on the summer wave of uh, LEGO Star Wars sets of 2020. I really want to talk about the AAT uh, droid tank and the General Grievous' Starfighter. I have some opinions about that, so I'm going to be talking about those um, on Wednesday and Friday. This video is coming out on Monday, so um, the AAT droid tank video will come out Wednesday, and then the General Grievous' Starfighter review will come out on Friday, just to give you guys a general idea of what's going on this week. But yeah, that's typically my schedule that, that I've been doing lately, just um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So yeah, just uh, sit back and enjoy my thoughts of this set, because I have a lot to say about it. So starting off with any typical review, we're going to be starting off with the minifigs. So uh, here we have the battle droid. Um, this is just your standard battle droid. Not much to say about this guy. Obviously, we've seen him so many times before. But, uh, yeah, not much to say at all, just, uh, obviously just had to include him. And, of course, we do get two of them, so two battle droids in this set. But, yeah, that's all I have to say about this guy. Just comes with a standard blaster. That's pretty much it. And, of course, here is the 501st Legion Clone Trooper. This is the much-anticipated battle pack, per se, uh, of this particular clone trooper because these guys are definitely the most liked clone trooper in all of star wars i'd say uh everybody thinks that these guys are pretty badass me and me included i really like these guys and of course these guys are anakin's uh own clone troopers these are these guys are the guys that usually uh battle alongside him but yeah enough about all that let's actually talk about the minifigure itself this is actually a, a lot different um from the previous uh, 501st Clone Trooper. Uh, unfortunately, I don't actually have one of those, but uh, basically uh, the previous model had uh, blue arms and I think black waist. I think that's about the difference is there. I'm not too sure. Oh, and also the head. This is the new nougat colored head. It is a lot more accurate to what it was previously. It was just flesh tone. And yeah, in the movies and TV show, the clone troopers are actually, they actually look like this. They're not uh, flesh toned. So this is really accurate and I'm so, so glad that they're actually sticking with this. This is a lot more accurate and way better than any previous clone trooper head that we have gotten. So huge props to LEGO for actually doing this. This is actually really solid here. I, I really like the overall design of this figure. Um, some people say that it should have continued with the blue arms and i think it looks fine with the white arms uh the only blue that actually are shown on their arms is just the shoulder pads uh but that's pretty much it i i do like this a lot more the helmet too is really solid it accurately represents a 501st legion clone trooper and i think they did a really good job with this figure and yeah there's some back printing too of course um just standard clone trooper uh, attire going on printed legs and uh, feet as well as well stay in focus camera please and thank you um, thank thankfully that the troopers did not come with stud shooters that would have been a huge drawback I would have not have been happy if they did that but thankfully it was just standard blasters so huge props to Lego for doing that and of course, this set does indeed come with three of these guys, so that is awesome for army building. I actually have about eight of these sets, so uh, do the math there, that's how many of those I have. So, 
pretty happy about that. I do intend on getting a lot more of these uh, troopers because I do want to make a massive army at, uh, of these guys one day. Yeah, let's get on to the next figure. Alrighty, so here we have the 501st Jet Trooper. This is based off of the Clone Wars TV show, and I think it looks really accurate to the show. Of course, we got on the back here a blue jetpack for uh, so he can fly around and shoot battle droids and all that. Uh, he does have blue arms, which he actually, which they actually do have in the TV show. Um, so that's great. Um, I really like the little the red accents on the helmet. Does uh, give a lot more detail and. Yeah, overall it just looks really accurate to the t to the Clone Wars TV show. And underneath we do have the nougat uh, colored head, which is really nice. Again, really accurate to the TV shows and movies. His neck does look really long because of the uh, jetpack, but uh, that's okay. Uh, not uh, not a big deal, but that uh, is to be expected. I didn't mention this previously, but uh, with this particular helmet, you can move uh, the the helmet all the way around. There's no, there's nothing obstructing it or anything, which is really nice because previously you couldn't actually turn the helmet piece uh, with the old figures as much as you could with these new molds. So huge props to that. Staying focused, please. Uh, yeah, it's really difficult to move it. If you wanted to move it, it would have to be lifted up a little bit. But yeah, sorry about the camera being really lame and not staying in focus. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Jet Trooper. All in all, pretty solid. A lot, uh, very accurate. Um, it only comes, the set only comes with one of these. So uh, it's nice to have that little extra figure that you get in the in the bat, in the in the set. A uh, little added uh, collectivity there. I like that a lot. Um, I do prefer the standard ones though, but uh, it is nice to spice it up a little bit and get one of these guys. So let's move on to the vehicles. Okay, so here are the vehicles. Um, over to the right, this is the 501st ATRT, and over to the left, here is the 501st Bark Speeder. First thing I'm going to say is that this is way too oversized. Way too oversized. Let me explain why. If you put a minifig in here. He looks like he's on a on a booster seat or like he's just he's just up way too high. Him sitting on there just looks really he looks really small. And these bar speeders are actually supposed to be a lot smaller and this thing just looks really big and kind of bulky. But yeah, it's I don't like the design of this. It's just way too way too big and it's not that appealing to me, but the only thing that's appealing to this, to me, to this set is the figures, and I want to collect them. Again, this is really big, and the guns here just look really, really big, and like they stick out like a lot for me, anyways. Um, I don't know if a lot of other people have this issue, and um, the handles that is such a poor design. Why do they? Why are they not connected? Why are they not connected here in the middle? And they move around so much. That's like one thing I really don't like. It's just too bulky. Something I'm going to point out right now is uh, something I didn't point out in the beginning, and that was intentional. This set is 40 Canadian and 30 US dollars. That is that is ridiculous. Like this should have been a normal battle pack that was like 20 dollars, and they could have made these smaller and a lot more accurate. But Lego knew the demand for these sets. They knew that consumers wanted these. So they were like, hey, let's make this really expensive because we know that people are going to pay for this. And I'm sorry I'm being like this. Like I, like, I like this set for what it is and the collectability aspect. Just everything is oversized. And I know that they could have made it smaller and a lot more accurate to the show. But they knew that the consumers were going to buy this. So they just made it really expensive. And that is one of the things I don't like about this set. But the figures are great. I really do like them. But I'm going to get into more why I don't like this set too much. Essentially, this ATRT is also way too big. They're supposed to be really small. They're supposed to be way smaller. But the design overall is nice. I just really wish it was smaller. You can actually make this walk. Like, you can, you can actually put this in a walking position, which I do like a lot. That is something that I do want, I do want to give props to Lego for doing that. You can uh, make this into a walking position really easily, so there's that as well. This though, come on Lego, you could have tried. You literally, you literally just could have done this from the year prior. It wasn't that hard. Like, why? It's just too short and it 
it's I get it. It's meant for kids. It's meant to play. You know, you can shoot it. There's that. Like I, I get that, but they could have just done what I just showed you with the with the with the gun with the cannon there to rep to represent that there's an actual gun there, but it just looks like a cheap like t I don't know I, I I'm sorry that I'm being so unconsumer friendly right now, but I really just want to get my thoughts out. But yeah, the design though, like everything, like the the place where the figure sits is nice. Like he fits there, nice and snug. Of course, see, he's in there. It looks nice. I like the st the stickers. Okay, okay, I'm gonna talk about the stickers real quick. There's a lot of stickers, but it does give it a lot of detail. Like right here on the fin, or not the fin. Sorry, just this part right here. It make it looks really nice with all, with all the stickers. There's nothing too bad about it there. Uh, sticker here for extra detail as well and a lot of stickers on this too like on the legs and right here at the front it looks nice but again it's just really big and that's one of my major drawbacks but I do like the fact that you can put some like little stuff here like a gun and some binoculars pretty nice there like that's pretty neat I like that feature um, the cockpit is cool like there's some control panel pieces and a uh, handlebar for him to move it and all that stuff he can you, you can uh, move it so that he can put his hands in it I think the design is pretty nice and I, I do like the fact that you can make it walk like this you can put it in a walking position and just let it sit there like it won't fall or anything like that like that's a thing that I do like and I'm glad that Lego did uh, put that uh, detail in there but again, the turret, the oversizedness, it's not a thing that I am too happy about with this set, but I am a huge fan of battle packs and that's essentially what this is. You get two battle droids and four 501st clone troopers. So there's that collectability and I do love it for that. I really wish that they made it smaller and a lot more accurate and cheaper for consumers. But again, Lego is a company after all and they need to make their money somehow and they they knew that people were going to buy this so they knew that they could make it really expensive and they knew that people were going to buy it so that's just capitalism at its finest that's all I have to say it's I'm really sorry that I'm being unconsumer friendly and I have some really harsh thoughts about the set I don't I think I'm probably going to get flamed in the comments but I really just wanted to put my two cents about this set uh, out there and I do have a lot of other op opinions about the Grievous Starship and the AAT droid tank. I have a lot of things to say about that. So if you do want to watch those, you can. Those will be up Wednesday and Friday. But anyways, thanks for watching this review. Um, again, the collectability of the set, great. The value of the set will definitely rise over time because of these figs, which is also good. I do have a couple sealed in my collection for the future and and the minifigs again they're solid solid minifigs really good collectability aspect there and good army building that's essential to the set a really this is a really good army builder for the figs but yeah i really hope that you guys enjoyed this review i know my opinions are a bit harsh so if you don't like it then you can dislike this video but i really just wanted to give my two cents about this set so, if you want to check out my other content, you can subscribe, um, like this video if you liked it. But yeah, that's all from me, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.